complete this color wheel assignment, you'll need the printed color wheel from the course. And you want to go ahead and pre-mix your colors. Yellow, red, and blue will be your primaries. Go ahead and pre-mix your green, orange, and purple for your secondary colors. Now, as you begin painting inside each shape, you want to remember that as soon as the paintbrush touches the paper, the paint and the bristles will spread out. So never start painting directly on the line, but away from the line a little bit. You can kind of push the paint up to the edge and get a nice even line. Okay, it'll help you to go ahead and paint your primary colors first, and then you can go ahead and be painting your secondary colors in between the two primaries that make them. It's very important you get your colors in the right place. If you mess up and get one in the wrong spot, don't worry. It's paint. Just let it dry. You can paint over it once it's dry with the correct color. Okay, so now I have my primaries and my secondary colors mixed. I can go in with the third group, which is the tertiary colors. Your yellow-orange, red-orange, yellow-green, blue-green, red-purple, and blue-purple. Those will go in between the primary and the secondary uh, that make them. Okay, as you're mixing colors, always add the darker color to the lighter color you'll reach the color that you want a whole lot faster. Now when you go into these colors, make sure you've got a clean, dry brush and experiment with a couple of different sizes of brushes, some round brushes and some flat brushes. And you'll have your color wheel complete. The next part is a value scale and a sphere. So you're gonna choose one color that fits with an emotion that you've chosen. Once you get that color on a new palette, go ahead and begin mixing up the tints and shades needed of that color. Adding white will get you the tint of a color, and adding black will get you the shade. Go ahead and have several different tints and shades mixed up uh, so that you can blend the colors into values a lot faster. Now with the value scale that I've got drawn out, I want to begin with the darker shades over on one side, and you're kind of just painting these into stripes. Start with the darkest, in this case the blue, the darkest blue on one side, and then just paint stripes all the way over to the lighter colors. Now once I get those colors painted in stripes. I'm going to get a clean, dry brush and just kind of go and paint back in between those divisions, in between those lines that I see, and I'm working to try to get rid of the lines there. Now for the sphere, you want to make sure that it looks nice and round and three-dimensional. So with the same technique in painting the darker and the mid-tones up to the lighter tints, you want to kind of paint those in a circle and match the shape of the circle. Get those painted, dark to light. Again, take a clean, dry brush, go through, and blend your colors together. Now, they're only going to blend together if the paint is still wet. If you've painted too slow and it's dried out on you, you still have the tints and shades mixed up. You can add some more to the sphere or to the value scale to kind of re-wet the paint so that you can blend those in with your clean, dry brush.